Ladies and gentlemen, Brian the Beer Snob. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me today. All right, today I'm hitting you with this is called RP Rowdy and Proud India Pale Ale with Ghoul Melon. Mosaic and Amarillo Hops. This is made by Three Taverns Craft Beers. And they are... Where are they from? Decatur... Decatur, Georgia. So it's Metro Atlanta. Melonberry Citrus Juice Explosion. 6% alcohol. It says D3 on the side. Rowdy and proud. Let's get it in the glass and see what it tastes like. Love that sound. A little cloudy. Oh, that's got a wonderful smell. It's definitely very citrusy. Head's not really white. It's an off-white. But man, it smells great. Rowdy and proud. While I was doing a little research online about this, I saw they have one that's called Rowdier and Prouder. So once I taste the Rowdy and Proud, I'll have to see what the Rowdier and Prouder tastes like. Who's littering? Who's littering behind my bar? It's hard to find good help nowadays. Mm. Man, that smells juicy. It said something about a yeah, ju melon berry citrus juice explosion. I'm telling you, it smells like a juice explosion. So let's see what she tastes like. Cheers. Mm. Boom! It's a juice explosion. It's great. The, uh, the foam, I got a little taste of the foam before the beer got in my mouth. And it was very... It had the bitterness of the orange peel. But once the beer did get in my mouth, just that that cool citrusy flavor just kind of took over. But I gotta have a few more sips. You know, when you first drink it, it takes a while for all those those flavors and aromas to come out. So let's let's wet this thing down a little bit more. It's got the sweetness of the citrus followed by the the bitterness, like a grapefruit bitterness. So it's kind of like a it's a nice little mix. It's a great tasting beer. This is definitely this is uh it mentioned something about melon. Let me see if I can if I can pull any melon out of it. It says uh, Huel Melon Mosaic and Amarillo, so I'm guessing that these this Huel Melon uh, hops gives it a melony flavor. Kind of a hint. There's a hint of more like a honeydew melon. Not so much on the flavor, but the flavor is, um, well, it's like it says, a juice explosion. It, it tastes like a bunch of citruses that have been squeezed out into the glass and mixed with beer. And it's just, it's a really great flavor. D3 
D3. I don't know, you know, I'm not familiar with uh, Three Taverns Brewery, Three Taverns Craft Brewery. Um, you know, I understand the RP because it's called Rowdy and Proud, but on the back where it says D3, um, I don't really know what D3 stands for. I don't see, unless it's a reference to the three types of hops that are in it, but I wouldn't know what the D stands for. It's nice and carbonated though. Mmm, it's a good flavor. Thing I like about this, it's got it's got a very good summertime flavor. I know that um, it's we're coming up on the end of August now, and my videos are about two weeks behind because the way I film them, I, and I have them coming out. I schedule them to come out, so I know this video is not going to come out for about two weeks, but. As we start getting into the fall, I've still got a refrigerator that's full of these summertime beers that I need to review. But there's going to be three coming out a week, so I know I'm going to get through it because, you know, I want to do the traditional fall styles. I want to do the, you know, the, the pumpkin beers. They're coming. They're already on the shelves. Um, for me personally, August, I think, is too early for that. But once we hit October, I want to, I want to start hitting those. Because I like them. I know there are the anti-pumpkin people, the anti-pumpkin spice. That little brief period of the year, I like the pumpkin in my beer. I like the pumpkin spice coffee. I'm down with it. So I'm looking forward to trying a bunch of different styles of the pumpkin beers to see who gets it right and see who doesn't. But back to the row what is it, rowdy and proud. Who hasn't been rowdy and proud before? Hmm. Yeah, that's good. The sweetness that you get in the front, counteracted by the little grapefruity bitterness. It's a good blend. This is a great beer. This is going to get a thumbs up from me. Rowdy and Proud, India Pale Ale. From uh, Three Taverns Craft Brewery. Do they really have three taverns? I don't know. I'm going to have to find out. But thanks for joining me. Make sure you tune in next time for uh, the next craft beer that I'll be reviewing. Because that's what I'm doing now is the craft beers. And I look forward to seeing you next time. Until then. Mm. Rowdy.